We are at a very special road trip place. The band's first pre-recorded cover was here. We did Stitches by Shawn Mendes and we filmed it on a GoPro and uh, it was awful. Your initiation, Harper's initiation. It's like the retreat, like when things need important decisions made, like you said, or bad moments or good moments, this always seems to be the place where everyone kind of comes, takes a minute, yeah. thinks over it. So why are we here today? Because yesterday, we confirmed that we're headlining Shepherd's Bush. We were in such a good place going into 2019. 2019, we expected to be the year the band started making some serious progress. And this is the stuff that fans don't really get to see and that relationships were, were breaking down. 2019 became the year of plugging the holes and saving a sinking ship. Is the band even going to survive? Like, it was an honest thought that went through my head. Like. See, everyone was concerned that two members had gone in the same year. I did think it was the beginning of the end, if I'm being totally honest. I thought it was the beginning of the end. Changing the lineup is always a risky move. When I entered the band, I didn't know how long it was going to last. We needed to do something. We needed to up our game somewhere. This next change has to be the biggest one we've ever done. We were like, it's time to put on a show. Shows like this to make or break for a band. We've got to do something massive. All right, so we've booked in Shepherd's Bush, which is possibly the most ballsy thing we've ever done. We've done some pretty dumb things uh, because we've gone through a lot of controversy recently. Shepherd's Bush, I think we can all agree, is maybe the biggest goal we've ever set for ourselves. Very ambitious. In the music industry, Shepherd's Bush is known as the first prestigious venue on the ladder to the arenas and the stadiums. The audacity to even throw Road Trip's name in there amongst the people that have played it is mental. It kickstarted their careers as performing artists. So for us, we always had Shepherd's Bush as like the first goal to complete. We've been talking about the show for a while, and then in the leading up to that, Jack left. I don't think he'd been happy for a while. Like, he had to hide a lot, I think, of who he was to be in the band. And I think tensions were kind of higher. And there, there ended up being an argument. On a personal level, I was genuinely guided, man. I probably spent more time with Jack when Jack was in the band than I did anyone else in the band. He was just a good mate of mine. This year, we all agreed we have to be relentless. Like, this is the year we just don't mess around. We don't leave decisions to other people. It's gonna come from this house. We're gonna make sure things happen. But we do need to make sure we get this one right. I don't think it can be us five just on stage in our clothes jumping around anymore. Like, yeah, it, needs, yeah. it needs the next step, I think. When the idea was thrown around of Shepherd's Bush, you came into my room and had a conversation. It was like, if we do get Shepherd's Bush, do you reckon I could, like, play an instrument? Has no. there never been keys played live? Well, Acoustic yeah. guitar is the only thing that's been played at our shows. Yeah. And you've played electric once when we forgot the acoustic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. We have kind of brushed over the fact that this is his first show with us. The first one he's doing is definitely, by a long way, the most important show we've ever done. I knew the boys for about six, seven months before joining the band. Um, supported them on two tours before last year. I respect Jack and hopefully I can fill that space left by him. I don't think I anticipated that there would be people that weren't happy with it. No one was ever going to be like, oh, Jack's left. All right, no problem, wicked. Like, there just was never going to be a thing, was it? Let's be realistic. And, you know, maybe we dealt with it in the wrong way. But again, it's another one of those things where, you know, all our mistakes are made, like, for everyone to see. Pyrotechnic stuff, so we want, like, fire, <laughs> flames and, like, fireworks in the venue. Screens. Lighting. Screens. Screens. Screens and lighting. Potentially getting some dancers in for the show to potentially mask what we look like dancing. Mask? If we danced on our own, we would look like plebs, but if there's actual professional dancers behind us, it will complement what we're doing. Okay, so we look into the idea of dancers, which we've yeah. never done before. This is all well and good, but like, we do kind of fund ourselves. Can, like, can we, we even get, we, can we afford it? Financially, we've always been great at hustling, so we'll find a way. We need five dancers. Sonny, mate, get on Tinder. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> yeah, Sonny, you saw that one, mate. We can't just do this show based off a set list we've done a million times, so no. we're going to need something new. Once the show was booked in, we knew we'd need some new music because the fans have seen all of our old material loads of times at different venues over the last three years. And for this show, we wanted to make it really special so that 
only the fans who come to this show hear the music for the first time. I remember you flipping on Nickelodeon stage, and I think I said to you after, I was like, bro, if, we are, doing this, do if, we, are gonna, if we are doing this Shepherd's Bush gig, like, I do want to learn how to do that. Yeah. Just I think more it's... on a budget thought as well, like... You're really concerned about the money, aren't you? <laughs> it's, it's not, no, you need to speak to someone. No, it's not, it's not that I'm concerned about the money, it, well, I am, but the only reason I'm, con <laughs> the only reason I'm concerned is because I don't want to get pyro that's like a little, like, you know, just poo, and like two little yeah, confettis think, fall out. I like. think funds are going to go into the production. I, that's where everything's going to go, because we know how to blag the rest of it. We've done it for years, like music videos, new music, flower in London, promotion assets and outfits. We can get creative. I do think, yeah, I do think that this is a, a very scary thing for us. I'm speaking on behalf of all of us, just because we are in it ourselves. We've been through a lot of drama, dude. Like, we could genuinely put these up and sell, like, 20 tickets. If this goes wrong, if we don't sell any tickets, then um, everyone will know about it. I think a little shepherd's bush on freezing. Oh, wait, yeah. wait, 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 no, let's not do hands. Can we do hands for our yeah, own? Yeah, let's do a little banana each. Yeah. Right. <laughs> One, two, three, <laughs> shepherd's bush! Woohoo! Oh, have a look at the bottom. Uh, no, do you know what? I'm just genuinely excited to sing amongst you guys. <laughs> us guys, man. Do you know Not what it is? You anymore, it's us. Do you know what it is? Yeah, man. It's like, fuck. <laughs> to look where we started. First met when I was busking. Did in Reading. Less than a year ago. It was less than a year ago. Uh, and less than a year on. Are you crying? Less than a year on. Snap out of it. Less than a year on! <laughs> I hated busking. I absolutely hated it. And I was playing on the streets of London that I used to see on like TV and stuff, and I was like, this is a dream, this is amazing. And then two months in, you kind of realise when winter hits and it's freezing and people don't pay attention to you, you know what I mean? You're, they're walking past, you're getting kids spit on you. It's a bit demoralising. Once we got Harps in, we started filming his trials. I've got to be honest, that was a game changer. Like, the vibe just, like, switched. And here we go, oh, let's yeah. record the rest of our set. Something about you first, isn't yeah. it? Harper has the first vocal of <laughs> Shepherd's Bush. It was meant to be just a one night thing. But you played with my heart like a violin. And you scooch off the left. Cause I want you, baby, even though you drive me crazy, you lie and then lie on the floor. Come forward. It's too easy, baby. All my friends are trying to save me, but it makes me want you some more. I can't forget you, but I still love the way my mother thinks that you're an angel. Sorry. I'm I just can't resist. You missed one. Good. See you in a. Shut the f up. It's Ergo. Oh, mate. Turn on do you guys mind if we just run it again? I can't keep You're going to send it in, it's cool, it's cool. Right. I actually do mind. I am actually gutted we have to do that one again. Right. Leave him alone. <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it, go on. Be with me. See you when I look to the stars. Eternal, eternal, yes. yeah. Well done, boys. First rehearsal's over. Yes, Bye. Well done, big man. You big man? Oh, you slut! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, same time tomorrow. Right, love you. Have you, you. Speak to Ginger about oh. as well. like you yeah. smashed that, yeah. mate. Uh, Daddy's yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Left the light, please. Man. So I've got it. I'll leave in it dark. <laughs> yeah, we do need to sort the dance. <laughs> I think I sent. And it kind of, it's got that kind of cheesy ending. So we're just playing about with a couple of ideas. We've like tried one that really didn't work because um, we're trying to change the style of the song. But I sent him this voice note like a yeah, week ago. 
I've, I've made a loop out of what you sent me, yeah. um, which is sort of this. So what I tried to do is just kind of come up with a bit of swag around, around that. And I kind of came up with this beat. I don't know what you guys think. But... A lot of our music's like guitar driven and it kind of lends itself to a certain genre. Maybe we take it kind of bass heavy if we're going to go that way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Subterranean. And now the whole vibe is checked just because we've got that, that rolling bass. It's... Yeah, that was your original guitar riff, right? First one should just be like a, almost background information. Second one kind of bring in more stacks in it. And the final one have like a higher on top, the artificial lower that you and Blair were talking about, stuff like that. Just so that's the part of the song that progresses throughout because... Yeah, nice. And everything should be singable and audible and nothing screamo. All bands, all artists go through sort of like a, a, a natural evolution. I think I think that we're kind of coming to like a, a mutual agreement as to where that kind of that destination's going to be for you. Yeah. Now we're kind of trying to take that fun vibe, but like be a bit more of age and a bit cooler and a bit more current. And we spoke with Blair, and Blair likes the idea of us moving forwards uh, in that sort of direction. When we do a lot of travelling, yeah, we would never listen to our own stuff if it was another artist. I have. You do, when it you, first, you do when it first comes out. No, I listen, I listen to it on the way to every show of yours that I come to. But that's, that's, Get myself in the mood. <laughs> so you're not annoyed when you're there. <laughs> we can't ignore the fact that we're a boy band and we're always going to produce pop music, but I think we maybe went too far towards yeah. one side. In hindsight, looking back. You were a different band. Like, only three of you are still the same people, and that that completely changes the scales of things. You're also four years ahead. And I remember the first line of after the show is come, right? So you're all there set. Come, 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 come And you're all so like, and that for you at the time was funny. Right now, I don't think that we'd be laughing at that. No. I think we'd just be like, I think you probably would. You probably would. First, like, I'm trying to shoes on, because that's what you're going to be doing on stage. It's very different, but you will feel psychologically heavier. This feels weird, man. It is weird. That's what we've been doing. Nice. Is that right? Nice. So, Rise just outside, speaking to our manager, Blair, because we've just had a discussion, a bit of a squabble. Bit of a bicker. You know, compared to a signed act, we got we lay everything on the table to do something like this. We don't know anyone who's done it before independently. If we go broke on the show, and if it looks like a laughing stock, then we're, we're finished. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. How's it going up in the studio? We were we were up until about five last night and started again at twelve today. So we're both a bit of a wreck. So we had a bit of a band argument this morning about the show. I think. Everyone's getting like a little bit nervous. Got on the phone to the tour promoter and Blair and was just like, what are we putting on the line here? What's at risk? There's no one to give us the right answers or the right guidance. Like we just sort of have to figure it out ourselves. Um, well, we kind of chose to take more responsibility and with that comes more stress. The stresses are all stuff that if you offered us five years ago, we'd have snapped your hand off. Yeah, it reminds me of when we did our first show in Scotland and we didn't know if we could sell a ticket. I'm literally going to film everything. I've been here since the dawn of man. <laughs> I came in one day after the dawn of man. Five years ago, it started with just me and Rye. Filmed our first few covers on iPhones. We record like 15 seconds, but put it into like a three and a half minute loop. Stick that on YouTube, use Justin Bieber official music video and the thumbnail. We just caught this wave of Justin Bieber fans coming in. There was a lot of backlash from some of those videos. For us, it was just about finding that big break. We spent months and months trialing members until we got anywhere near something that resembled a band. So then a great thing happened, something that's probably changed the rest of my life. I met Brooklyn Wyatt. Gibson! My name's Brooklyn Wyatt, Avram, David, Clint, Foss, Creven, on the jet, I think that is all my names. An old friend of mine is coming to trial for the band. It's the GoPro! Me and Mikey got along really well. Me and him had a pre-existing relationship in another band. Oh, like, I loved Mikey. Like, I still do love Mikey. <laughs> we all lived in a one-bed flat with our manager, Blair. Blair and Ginge in that room there. One 
bathroom and shower that we can't even share because there's not enough hot water to go around so we have to go to the gym to shower. Living conditions were disgusting. Rock doesn't even actually have a legit bed. But it shaped a mentality for us that was like, no matter what, we're gonna find a way. Flyed schools, we flyed high streets, we even went to pop stars concerts, all to try and build an organic fan base that we then decided to try and put on a show for. First ever road trip gig. To our surprise, we managed to sell about 50 tickets, and I think only 30 ended up showing up. For us, selling tickets was insane. We were like, wow, people will actually come and see us. One time when we were in Dublin, there was a support act that had a guitarist, Jack, I think, did one of the most courageous things I've ever seen from a human. He dropped everything he was doing, sacked off his job, told his mum he's getting on the plane, and we were like, do you know what, this guy's got balls, let's put him in. I'm a fifth member, right? <laughs> <laughs> so after three years of living in this one bed council flat, we managed to convince our manager to let us move out. To a two bed council flat. So much room! Goodbye everyone. And once we moved to our own place, we then just went hard on all content. We got to one million subscribers. A few hundred thousand across different platforms. And now we can afford a much bigger place. We've moved house! We decided to spend the first night in a place where we know well and that's next to each other. We used to, we used to sleep like this legitimately. They did, they used to spoon at Blair's because we had no other space. Now, we have a whole house with our own rooms and we still decide to sleep in the same room. Yeah. And if you look at Shepherd's Bush, it's the same kind of risk as clickbait in the videos at the start, but hopefully the reward is we have a memory that will last our entire lives. Something that beats like moving to a mansion or getting a few hundred thousand views on YouTube any day. I'll speak to the guys and uh, good luck, let us know uh, how it goes up there. Fill me in on this argument as well. Get everyone together and... All right, bro. All right, well, peace, see you later. See you on the flip side. Everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel very cool when I do it. So you have to make sure you're in a straight line otherwise probably will mess it. You're not leaving enough room for the girls to dance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, take this seriously, man. These girls that are with us are professional dancers, right? And they must think we are absolute invalids. <laughs> if I'm looking at the change of my personality when cameras are on or when I'm, like you say, I'm constantly online, like, does that change who I am? I, I couldn't give you a direct answer because I'm so deep into it. I've done it for five years. Got it. <laughs> I don't think it, we're faking it. I just think it's a, it's an enhanced version of what we are. Do you know what I mean? Like on camera, I feel like we are the people on camera, but times ten. Yeah. So then you're gonna come. Um, I feel like you did. <laughs> <laughs> you, you asked for that one, Ginge. Come on. We were midway through the rehearsing, maybe like two, three hours in, and I was like, "Is is this what road trip is? Like, do we look like we're trying to become a dancing band now? I'm not a dancing man. I do not know what I'm doing at the moment." <laughs> Chill with me. They're trying like really hard. This is their first time ever dancing. They're boys, aren't they? Hi, boys. <laughs> there you go. Say good things about. <laughs> Do you think they'll be ready on first March? I don't think so. <laughs>
being in a band that didn't work out and that you were that close to making it with. When I got this second opportunity, there was nothing that was going to get in my way. I like to think that myself and Rye will be here until the day it dies because we have that similar attitude of we can't give up now. And I'm 99% certain Brooke is in the same mindset. Sonny would be a fool to leave this behind knowing what's on the other side. And Harper, it's the best opportunity he's ever had in music. And I like to think it would be the best that any of us will ever have. I think this is the lineup that Road Trip will end as. A few weeks before Shepherd's Bush, I was actually out for the day. I'd, got, I'd left the house and went into town and saw a necklace in the shop that had different letters on it and saw the letter B that they had actually on display, which was um, the first letter of my granddad's name, Granddad Bill, who passed away towards the end of last year. He was a huge, huge, huge part of my life. I remember telling my granddad that I was going to play Shepherd's Bush one day. And to look back and think that literally less than a year later, I'm headlining it with what are now some of my best friends is insane. I don't, I don't think I've quite wrapped my head around it fully yet. Hi, excuse me. Can I give you this? We've got a show at March the 1st at Shepherd's Bush Empire. Okay. If you'd like to, yeah, just a little thing. Have a little think about it. Have a good day. One down, three million to go. Yeah, we duct tape. Yeah, bang one up. Stick it on the windows. Let's do it that way <laughs> instead. Oh, you're covering the venue here. <laughs> nah, Shepherd's Bush, it literally says it there. Uh, right in the middle, can't avoid that, can you? Little 360 view. Oh, so it's a mystery. They wonder what we look for. Oh. Yeah, it's like Where's Wally. It's nothing I mean? like Where's Wally. Don't patronise me. Hello, there, sir. Hello, would you like one of these? No, no, no worries. It's not one of these. We're playing a show March the 1st, Shepherd's Bush Empire. No, no worries. Have a good day. Hello. May I give you one of these? I've got to get back on. <laughs> Excuse me, would you like one of these? Thank you, cheers. Have a good day. You like one? Uh, me and Brooke, <laughs> if I remember when I first met the boys, he was, he was as Brooke is, he's friendly, he's outgoing, easy to talk to. We kind of hit it off, you know? As friends, we're just good friends, that's all. You reckon you'll get married first? Married first, I reckon probably me. Yeah? Probably. I'll probably end up marrying the wrong person. Some people are just on all the time. Brooklyn Wire is on all the time. The amount of nights I go to sleep at three, four o'clock in the morning and I'm like, I must be the only one awake. And I'll just hear, Aah! On the way back, should we get a subway? On the way back, should we get a subway? You don't need my permission. There was actually a guy once that I saw on the news that did that. He lost his thumb, so he replaced his thumb with his big toe. No. Genuinely, yeah. Uh... Did it work? He was called James Byrne. That's how I know. James Blunt? James Byrne. No, not James Blunt. Yeah. James Blunt, the one who sings, Get in high and I don't think that I... Oh, yeah, that's the one. You're beautiful. For me, Shepherd's Bush is... It's almost a statement to say, look, we're not messing about. We're, this is what we are. This is what we want to do. This here is we where are. we're playing. Right here. Sick, in it? We're playing here. We have put more effort into this show than we've put into anything. All... Everyone in this house has. It's been a collective effort. As long as it's not touching the registered building, we're fine. See, but we have a show here on All March right. the 1st. Okay, so if you want to say that, have a little look. Thank you. I'd put every single penny I have on her not coming to the show. Excuse me. Please. Right, That's hard work. Don't know how she does that. Has anyone heard of Road Trip? You know, road like trip, you've heard of road, road trip? trip, March 1st. Nope. Road trip. Road trip. Road trip. Anyone want to get one for Road trip, March 1st. They're going very fast, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> We're very <laughs> high demand. <laughs> Hi there. Excuse me. Have you heard of a band called Road uh, Trip? No, thanks. No. This isn't a ticket. It's just a flyer. It's just a flyer. No one. That's fine. There's loads of other people that would love them anyway. <laughs> Have you heard of us before, Road Trip? If you haven't, it doesn't matter. Have you actually? I think I might have. I don't know if it's the same. Oh, that's mad. Oh, a couple of us have changed, but like we are. March first. Let's push that, that one now. Oh, cool. yeah. yeah. Have a little look if you want to come down. Yeah. I reckon KFC now, mate. Little KFC. Little KFC to take on the street back with us. I 
I'd, I'd say we need this moment now. One for the band itself, like a bit of personal pride for us all. Like this is what the goal has been. But for the fans, like it, it'd be nice for the fans to see us finally like take that next step. We're not the same. I ain't sitting by the phone. I'm calling, calling, calling you. I ain't lying here long. I'd never listen to any of our own music. I don't think any of us would until now because we've decided to take it on board ourselves and just go, what would we want to listen to? There was quite a few years where like, we'd be like chasing something that wasn't there, like a label or like something that we thought was going to get signed, so we had to be a certain way. It seems dumb that the the biggest part of the project that represents us didn't really come from us. I think now we're just being who we are. We're a boy band. There's going to be cheese involved. There, there, there just is. So there's no point in pretending that we are really cool. Do you know how f***ing loud that is in my ears? See? <laughs> Bro, I scared myself. I've been trying to do the eternal chorus now for at least probably an hour. Just go, I love this song. I can't hear it. Oh, shit. Off, man. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you're wasting all of our time, so. I feel it right here, fing. Bro, this is struggle. Mate, you got what this. You I have got it, but you've done nothing. Place, done nothing. What did we nothing. do then? Now you got this, go, send it again. Straight just go, 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 just feel your easy. presence, man. Let's I can still feel shit off of the you like, genuinely. next to me. Eternal. That's literally not even what I'm singing. After Shepherd's Bush, if we want to get to where we want to be as musicians, then music becomes our main focus and that's where the majority of our energy needs to be. I see you when I look to the stars Eternal, eternal we are Yeah! That was a good take that was, man. I see you You can just sense it, there's like an aura in the studio. I know that sounds a bit sad and like cringy and whatnot, but there is like, you can just tell when everyone in the room is feeling it and you're onto something. I think the band needed it as well. It was good for us to have that, like a moment. I've never had a drop like that. That's, that is much better. It's like, it has the same impact as like a big heavy chorus, but it's like chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not too much, it's not in your face, like. And as Charlie was saying, it kind of suits everyone's register more. It's this bit. Yes. <laughs> this. Nice. We're here today to film a music video, and when we have a fun time, we'll be singing along to this song. So let's strap in. Here comes the chorus. Star isn't what it's made out to be. Arthur's <laughs> <laughs> verse here with Sonny at the front. But you're so vain. And we're going to be walking behind him and then just crowd around him. Tell me lies. Because I fought for every word you say. Boy, too early. But you're so vain We're not the same I ain't sitting by the phone Okay, I think that'll work That's the time I ain't sitting by the phone I ain't sitting by the phone Calling, calling, calling you I ain't lying here alone Video in a 
in about a year to 18 months for an original song and it's to me and you. A music video for Road Trip is long overdue. The 28th is the day that the music's meant to be coming out, so that's Hero Understand and Me and You, but we're going to release the Me and You video first so that people have know there's music coming out and then maybe we'll come to Shepherd's Bush and see it. This is a shambles, let's just leave. We're gonna go and do something else related to Shepherd's Bush. Shepherd's Bush! Shepherd's Bush! Music video! Cheap's Bush! Cheap's beard! <laughs> this is music video. If you swipe up on this uh, story right now, then uh, you can listen to our brand new EP which went out four minutes ago on Spotify. <laughs> Nice, it's out. The White Label EP is finally out. And I wonder, wonder, wonder what I think you're wonderful. Think about you lately. Cause I don't you in no other man. One day before Shepherd's Bush, and uh, we're going to rehearsals. I think we're prepared, so it'd be good to just go in today and touch up on everything that we already know. I'm an hour late, uh, so Ginger's gonna kill me. I know I said we're prepared. We're prepared as far as road trip can be. I care that the show is amazing, but I know that stuff happens. And I know that if I'm responsible for that stuff happening, shame on me. But I will still love that show. It will still be that moment that Road Trip broke through the barrier and headlined Shepherd's Bush. I used to remember left hand. Sorry. Boy, well done, because I'm proud of you. You know how I am. She's proud of us! Yes! Get in there! Oh, Ging! Do I still feel like it's the beginning of the end? Nah. I don't think it's the beginning of the end. I don't think it is at all. I think. See how Shepherd's Bush goes, because I, I, that's, that's my like gauge on everything. Uh, one, two, three. Yes, Perk! Come on, boy! Yes, sir! Go on, try another one. People just don't understand how around the clock this is for you. You've given up everything. You've sacrificed weddings and funerals and family outings, and you've probably lost friends along the way. And people just don't get how much of a slug you've put in. And it's all for moments like this. Just I think the reception as a whole needs to be good. If there's no jumping and kids don't look like they're enjoying themselves and the mums and the dads in, in stands don't look like they're enjoying themselves, like, at the end of the day, we're in the entertainment industry and if no one's being entertained, that's when I'll know. That's when I'll know, like, this is it. We don't have to necessarily do it tomorrow. Where you haven't like done one yet. Bush. It's, it's literally, we're less than 12 hours away and you still haven't done a backflip on your Let's send it tonight. I want to try send it tonight, see if we can do it. And then see you about tomorrow. If Shepherd's Bush doesn't go to plan, does it change anything? I don't know. I think... I think for the boys it will massively. I think they've worked so hard to get it. This was one of their goals, I know, when they started out, was to play Shepherd's Bush. If it doesn't go to plan, with what they've been through the past year, it's how much longer they can carry on doing it. I don't know. I'll be right here, like the same consequences. Okay. Oh, f man. Cool. One, two, three. It's official. It's Shepherd's Bush Day. That's a bit mental, actually. Just over 12 hours, we're going to be on stage doing what we've prepared for. And there's honestly nobody else that I'd rather share the stage with. 
also to like my family and stuff that are watching this. Like you now know why I was away for so long um, and now we can prove that we've been away for a cause and for a purpose. What time do you guys go to sleep? You slept much or not? Yeah, I got about four and a half hours. At three o'clock I ended up going to sleep. Yeah, it was the same as me. We didn't get much. We didn't get to sleep till like four, half four, I think. Yeah. Or maybe like two hours sleep. Uh, Harper's just sent in the group chat a picture of the band's name, Road Trip, up across the front of Shepherd's Bush, and it's it's a mad thing to see. So we just want to entertain everyone there. That's it. We want everyone to go away, but like, we had a wicked time. Um, and hopefully we achieved that. Well, this looks pretty sick, lads, to be fair. Let's turn that on. Ooh. Oh, yes. Ooh, yes. Nice. Yes, that's cool. That's cool, I rate that. And then look. <laughs> oh, man. This is the, this is the stage. Ooh. This here. Look at that. Three tiers. Three. It's another one above. Three tiers, man. And then this is where we're going to be like, London! And then every, loads of people are going to probably be leaning over going, we love you, road trip, let down your hair. How you doing, buddy? You all right? Hello, mate. Oh, man. Yeah, this is mad, isn't it? This is mad. This is the stage, man. It's so sick. The night before, I did do a backflip on my own. I basically bottled it three or four months of prep doing backflips and then to be not ready was uh, quite disappointing. Five minutes, ten minutes before the show that I was like, I don't think I'm going to do it. As a surprise for the fans, we asked Jack to come and do his first solo performance with us. It was lovely seeing Jack there. It felt like a really nice end to his chapter for Road Trip. It, it was nice to see him happier and whatnot and I think it was probably the best thing for him. Usually in road trip, there's always someone being loud backstage, something happening. But those five minutes before the stage, there's no talking. Everyone's just in their own head, preparing mentally. I'm worrying about bumping into dancers. I'm worrying about the lyrics. I'm worrying about the choreo. I don't know what's going to happen. And it's terrifying. You can just tell there's an atmosphere. Everyone knows that this is a moment for us. You see the place go black, the kind of started, and you know that you've got 60 seconds to get on stage and you need to be ready. Shepherd's back! It was meant to be just the one I think. But you played with my heart like a violin I want you, baby, even though you drive me crazy You lie and then lie on the floor It's too easy, baby, all my friends are trying to save me But it makes me want you so bad I try to forget you, but I This is like five years in the making. 
It's you guys, it's us, it's teamwork. And together over the years, we went from like 50 tickets in Hoxton Square Garden to Shepherds Bush Empire. What's going on, Shepherds Bush? My name is Andy. It has been more good than bad in Road Trip. The bad has been the worst of my life, but the best day of my life is March the 1st, 2020, without a shadow of a doubt. What's up, London? I'm Brooklyn. I think the thing about Road Trip is that we just carry on and we just don't care what anyone thinks. What's cracking, guys? I'm Sonny. Nothing is going to stop us. The Road Trip brand itself just stops for no one. What's up, guys? I'm Harper. We can tell our kids one day we're your headline Shepherds Bush independently. And hello, I'm Ryan. No regrets. I'm so happy to live the life I've lived for the last five years. I think the experiences we went through made us what we are today. There is like a sense of like protectiveness. He's my, he's my brother. to see what happens in the next few days, the next few weeks, next few months. I can genuinely, honestly, still see us all like sad bastards at like the age of 60, still trying to give it some beans if it's not worked out. Honestly, I genuinely can. People keep asking me this, you know, like, how was it at Shepherd's Bush? How was it to perform there? And I never have a clue how to answer this question. When you said, all of our friends and family are here and I hope this proves why we've been away for years, that hit me. It was nice seeing our, like, grandparents and our, like, relatives, mums, dads. You could see that they were all holding back their tears because of how proud they were of all of us. The amount of times I'd said to him, like, I'm going to play Shepherd's Bush, Granddad. But, yeah, I think if he... Well, he would have seen it now. And, uh, yeah, I hope, you, I hope he's proud. So, what's next for Road Trip? Don't even know your name, but you're the one hey. that got it. <laughs> you excited to see Road Trip live at Shepherd's Bush? Is that today? The start of something very exciting. Enjoy your beverage and, and the view, mate. Pretty things. Then the meet end of the show. Here we are, empty Shepherd's Bush. We just conquered a huge challenge today. All thanks to you guys. We appreciate and love every single one of you. So tired, but feel so accomplished and proud of all of us and all of you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's that, guys? Did you want some confetti? Uh, Your mum's confetti, mate. Your mum's confetti. Your on behalf of myself and I know all the other boys. We want to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys for making everything possible, for allowing us to do what we do, and for giving us one of the best nights of our life. This documentary is showing, it's like almost breaking down those barriers with like a sledgehammer and going, no, tell us the truth. I think if we'd have carried on the route that we were on, Roadship would have eventually ended. Excuse me, have you heard of Road Trip? 